Well, you may have seen them, even taken a photograph next to them. Artist Kelsey Montague is known for her famous Nashville wings and wings painted across the country. Well, now Rochester has its own set of wings, but these wings are not ordinary, as you are about to find out. And you will meet a local girl who is riding on those wings of hope. Wings can be seen outside of Collins Orthodontics in Rochester, but the mission behind these wings is about what's happening inside. We're just gonna like in your mouth. Does that sound cool? Going down. 17 year old Annika Chesik. Okay, open really big. Has been waiting a long time. So good. In the bite down farm again. To be in this chair. Open really big. Bite my finger. Just kidding. Don't bite my finger. <laughs> That's because for a long time, she was in this chair fighting cancer. It was painful at times and sad at times. She was diagnosed with rhabdomyosarcoma, a rare type of cancer that forms in the soft tissue, in this case behind her right eye. When you get that news, your life just turns upside down overnight. Mom and Annika headed down to Houston, Texas for seven weeks of radiation, followed by a year of chemotherapy. A lot of the times I felt sick. I didn't feel well at all. I didn't want to eat. I didn't want to do anything. I just wanted to lay in bed. For the past 11 years, Annika has been cancer free. And one thing she is hoping for is to smile more confidently. I've been wanting this to happen for a long time. I've been a little insecure about it. So I'm really glad that it's like there's a path waiting for me that I will have a perfect smile again. Awesome. There you go. That's where Dr. Grant Collins comes in. When your kid sees their smile for the first time, it's, it's life changing. It, it brings a level of confidence in them that I don't think even they knew they had. His business launched the Adopt-A-Shark program in 2018, offering free braces for pediatric cancer survivors, so families have one less financial burden to worry about. Financially, it just seemed out of reach for a lot of these families to do braces on top of all the medical bills they were receiving um, from the cancer treatments. We're just super excited to be able to turn around and give back to our community this way. So yeah, you know all about the sharks right here. Every shark adopted and every dollar collected by those adoptions is money to help children like Annika. And they understand that I want a perfect smile, so that they are willing to do something about that makes me very happy. So you'll see sharks, four sharks are hidden in the wings, and there's also the cancer ribbon is hidden in there too. So we thought it was a good representation of um, the kids that were going through this because they're strong, they're fighters. Sharks maybe but an angel indeed. We all did this, like we all survived cancer. Someone's helping us become like even happier than we were before them, that we've all survived. Helping to lift families in a time of need. Uh, to purchase a shark, $30. Yeah. Uh, since the Adopt-A-Shark program launched in 2018, it has helped, listen to this, 10 children receive wow. those free braces, bringing more smiles after such a long journey after cancer. Uh, again, if you want to know more about this program and about the artists mm -hmm. of this mural, uh, we will have more information for you right now on our website.